Hey everyone, in today's YouTube video, I wanna show you how to A, B test or compare two different thumbnails on YouTube. This is actually going to do it live on YouTube with an actual video that you upload. So it's really, you're gonna get data, you're not gonna get anywhere else. And oftentimes when I make a thumbnail, I make mine in Photoshop, I know a lot of people make them in Canva, but once you make a thumbnail, Maybe you're curious if the thumbnail is gonna perform better if you have your face on it, or maybe if you don't have face on it, or maybe if you have text on it. But you would never really know because you're just gonna make a decision and go with the thumbnail. This option lets you run a YouTube video and half the people that see that video are gonna see one thumbnail, and then the other half are gonna see the other thumbnail in the results, search results, suggested result, and then Whoever clicks on a thumbnail most, whichever one of the two groups clicks on that thumbnail more, this platform is gonna show you the winner and then you could decide to change your thumbnail or keep the one you already have. Probably the most powerful tool I ever found for improving the click-through rate and therefore my channel on YouTube. So here we are, this is the platform that we're going to use and I'll put a link in the description so you could also try it out. It's called TubeBuddy and TubeBuddy does have a free version but the free version will not get you this. This is actually in their legend plan, their highest paid plan but I find it very, very worth the price because I use this all the time on my other channel and I'm just gonna start using it on this channel as well to A-B test my YouTube thumbnails. And if you get it working, or if you do the free trial and you find it useful, you could always pay for it when you do find it useful after you test it out. But let me show you how it works and then you could decide for yourself. Basically, you come to this page under your accounts tab. So you go to your accounts tab and you click the A-B test. Let me show you that. So here, this is the channel with the legend plan. I'm gonna go ahead and click here. I have lots, I have eight different channels. So some have the startup plan, some have different paid plans. I'm gonna click this right here, A-B test. It's gonna bring me to this page. And on this page, what I wanna do is create an A-B test. Now, what's gonna happen is TubeBuddy is linked to my YouTube account. So I give it permission to do that so it could actually do this test for me and other things like SEO and keyboard. TubeBuddy does need that. And it's gonna pull up my last six videos. This is the one I'm curious about. And I'm always curious about this when I run YouTube videos. Should I show my face in the thumbnail? Is that gonna perform better? Or should I just use text? Is that gonna perform better? And without this, I will never know the answer. I'm just guessing and then seeing how one does versus the other. I could always search for a video here too if I want a different video than the six. But right now, I just want my latest video. I'm gonna click it. And how to invest in stocks for beginners. And this is what I wanna choose. Thumbnail click-through rate test. Click-through means how many people are gonna click on that video when they're shown that video in search or suggested. So if 100 people see this video and seven of them click it, that's 7% click-through rate, which is kind of high. Between two to 10% is the average on YouTube. And I wanna kind of get a good understanding what it is. So maybe if it was only 2% on this, it's a good time to run that test. And the meta data test, I know someone from TubeBuddy mentioned in their video that this is more advanced and you should only do this for videos that are older that are not performing. So I'm not gonna do this. I'm just gonna worry about thumbnail. This is gonna actually test out your title and description and things like that. Let's click this one. And it says, how long do you want to run the test? 14 days is by default and that seems to be a good range based on what I've seen. So I'm gonna choose that. Or you could choose this, run until click-through rate is statistically significant. You could run this too, so this may take as long as it needs to get the right number for me, but the set number of days is good because I really wanna get a good range in a long term. So this is gonna run it on every single day of the week, and then the other one every single day of the week, so I get a good understanding through a range of a week. So I'll select that. So which video would you like to run this on? This is the video I chose already. Which type of A-B test would you like to do? Thumbnail, I already chose that too. And how long? So this is just giving me a good brief overview of what I chose. I'm gonna press continue. Okay, so I have this one. And let me show you how I actually made my other one. Let me go to Photoshop. I make mine in Photoshop. So this is the one that you're looking at. This is on my live video. And then I have this one here, which is the one that's just text. So I'm comparing these two. And I'm still keeping the colors because I don't want the colors 
to really dictate the click through. I just really, the big difference is, am I showing my face or am I not showing it? And I'm also gonna check if the year when the video was made is gonna make a big difference showing that or not showing that. So that's what I'm testing, A-B testing. Usually with A-B test, you wanna just change something that you could actually point at and then give that credit. So maybe that's even too much. Maybe I should remove this and even make it as much of the same as I can, just so I could see, does the face in the thumbnail make a difference or does it not? That's really what I'm testing out. But in this case, I've already made these two. So let's go to Google here to Chrome and back to TubeBuddy. I'm gonna upload the test thumbnail. Okay, so there's the one I already had and let me see the B test is this one, okay. So this is the one I actually need. It needs to be the right thumbnail size. So 1920 by 1080 is what I have on this. Same as my other one, I'm gonna press enter. So this is A, this is B. You could read more about tips and tricks here. I already read that and I already figured out how to make my thumbnails. I have a ton of videos on thumbnail creation in Photoshop, Canva and other platforms too, if you wanna check my channel out for that. I'm gonna press start test. Okay, so basically it says it will alternate between the test and the original every 24 hours while the test is running. I'm gonna press start the test and there we go. So the test is running, I could stop at any time and 14 days until I get a result to see is this performing better or is this performing better so I'm gonna let this go for two whole weeks because I really wanna show you the analytics, the results, and maybe you could take away something from is showing your face better or is showing your face worse in your YouTube thumbnails. But again, this is dependent on my channel, it's dependent on my face, it's dependent on my expression. So you should definitely do this on your own too and not take what I take away from this for your channel but I thought it would be useful to show you the results. So I'll be back in two weeks. Okay, so it's been two weeks, about two weeks since I did the first A-B test. So let's jump in the computer and take a look at the result. And here I'm back on the TubeBuddy website and I clicked on A-B test and this is the test that we did. So let's go ahead and click on it. And the results are really, really surprising to me. Okay, so based on the click-through rate, the variation version of your video outperformed the original by 60%. So this is the original, the one with my picture on it, and this is the variant. And to make it even worse, I spelled this wrong. So the one that has this typo right here, beginner is spelled wrong, and I couldn't fix it because it would stop the test. So I just let it run just for the sake of this video. Even with the typo, it still outperformed this one. So this one had a date on it, which I thought would help. It had a picture of a person myself on it. I thought that would help. And none of those things helped. Now, what do I take away from this test? I take away that having my picture does not outperform not having my picture. But that is not something you should take away from it. You should also do the test. Because this could be based on my face, my expression. Maybe people don't like what I'm doing with my finger, there's a number of different things. So I should continue to do a B test to test different things against each other. Maybe if I make a goofy expression versus a serious expression, a B test that. But from what I take away from it right now is based on the title of this video, it's going to outperform better by not having my picture on it, my face on it. Okay, now I could test out the year on the next A-B test and I'll show you some of the things you could see in the results section. It's gonna show you the click-through rate. This is the most important. Overall, it's really low. It's less than 1%, that's not great. But the second version, the variant here, the variation, actually did better. So I could see that here. Overall, both are low, so maybe I wanna do something entirely different. Impression, again, you could see. They were almost the same, except this one had a thousand more. So this one was shown to more people. And even if you look down here, the watch time was actually way different. So if people clicked on this, they somehow, or for some reason, stayed longer on that video. That's very interesting. When they clicked on this, they only stayed for two minutes here. And again, you could see the watch time is almost double here, the total of watch minutes. This is the duration, this is how many minutes. So you could see that significantly higher here, almost double there. And you could see your daily views if you compare them. So this is at some point the video had a lot of impression and views, but it's really tapered down here. And you could see where your traffic even came from. Did it come from search? Did it come from suggested video? You could see the variant here, the variation, had a better suggested video 
performance too. So it was suggested to more people than the original. So now I know that I need to set this video to the other title. And I also know I gotta go fix the typo. So that's probably gonna improve it even more because teaching people how to invest in stocks and having a typo in your thumbnail, that's not great. So I'm sure that hurt it, but overall I did get the message that I should take away my face and stick with this with a correction on the typo. I hope you found this video useful. I have a ton of tutorials on YouTube. I have a checklist for YouTube to help you rank your videos number one on the first page of YouTube. I have about two, 300 videos ranking number one right now. And make sure you subscribe if you wanna see more content on social media, easy to follow how-to videos just like this one. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.